just a few moments ago, I had the privilege of speaking to Sir Shrida Trampel and Paul Reitler, and the other members of the team were there. I had the opportunity to thank them on behalf of our agents, the staff of the ministry, and more importantly, on behalf of every single Guyanese. But I want this morning to go beyond our lawyers and our legal team. I want to thank all of those who played such an integral part in this process. And the names are too many to mention, many of whom are in this room. From our goodwill officers, even be before that, successive governments, we have always stood together. We have always recognized together and demonstrated to the international community together that we are one and we are united, not only on our, on our sovereignty and borders. But today, I think this victory, which is no small victory, this victory is testimony to what we can achieve as a people when we're united. And this should be a healing point for our country. There is no compromise on our sovereignty. We're together on this. And it's in this same spirit that I think we should be together on the development and future of our country. I wish to ask all of you in this room and all of Guyana to put your hands together to all our technical staff and all those who played such an integral role, our legal team, for their enormous effort. This is no ordinary effort. Long hours of research, strategic thinking, positioning, and of course, reaching out. As a result of all of those hard work just a few moments ago, the International Court of Justice ruled that it had jurisdiction to hear Guyana's case against Venezuela to secure the integrity of our land. This is a great victory for the rule of law internationally and for the United Nations, whose General Secretary chose the court for resolution of our case. It is a great moment, indeed, for Guyana, whose governments and people have been united in looking to international justice to uphold the territorial integrity of our country. It is a testimony, too, to what we can achieve together as a nation. The court's decision means that international law can be brought to bear to ensure that Guyana's patrimony is preserved. The law of nations can be allowed to prevail in the face of efforts that point in other direction. As a result of today's ruling, the court will now proceed to hear the merits of the case. It will decide and judge on Guyana's claim that the arbitral award of the 3rd of October, 1899, permanently fixed the boundary with Venezuela and it remains legally valid and binding on both Venezuela and Guyana. It is to that phase of our case that we now bend our will in unity as a nation and with conviction in the rightness of our cause. I express the hope now 
that the court has ruled decisively in favor of its jurisdiction to rule on the merits that our neighbors will consider participating fully in the proceedings. I thank all of Guyana and all beyond Guyana who continue to help our just case and cause. And I do so on behalf of our team here locally and all Guyanese. Today, our common cause is to continue to support this team. Our common cause is to continue to bring international attention to our case. As my good friend, former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Carl Greenwich, our agent, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, previous governments, leaders, previous presidents, would have all said, our greatest strength is when we are united. Our greatest hope is when we are united. The best we can achieve in the future must be and will be when we are united. This case is just but an example of that unity. So today, I ask Guyanese all across our beautiful country here and in the diaspora to take a few moments from your busy schedule, reflect and remember all the players who would have brought us thus far. And understand that the collective work of our lawyers and our own has delivered to us today a victory that paves the way for the full and complete settlement of our border controversy with Venezuela. I, ha I have no doubt that our just cause and our just case will bear fruit. But as Carl said, it's in the realm of the court and we will not go beyond that. So thank you very much. Our chief of staff is here. Our command, our commissioner. And I want the chief of staff also to express our thanks to the men and women in uniform who are out there ensuring that our land and our sovereignty is not breached and protected. To all Guyanese, to all those who play such a key role, the staff of the ministry, members of parliament, our lawyers, may God bless you, and I thank you very much.